Thank you, Philip. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming and good evening. Um, a little bit of nation building in Malaysia, uh, a missing piece of our history. That's basically what we are going to talk about tonight. And a little bit of um, uh, background information. Um, I believe uh, since yesterday, uh, we have seen that uh, the Sarawak government have been very, um, uh, I would say, very progressive in as far as the rights, especially the rights of uh, Sarawak and Sabah in Malaysia. Uh, just yesterday, they passed a, a resolution in the State Legislative Assembly that um, the Legislative Assembly is giving um, the state government, the authority to proceed uh, to, negotiate, uh, to negotiate or discuss with the federal government about the, um, the Malaysia Agreement. This is the Malaysia Agreement. I'm sure not many people have seen this agreement before. Uh, the problem is that this agreement um, is not printed in Sarawak, it's not printed in KL, it's only printed <coughs> in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. So uh, that's the only government printer that is still printing this. Now, the second document that uh, I want to talk about also tonight will be the Intergovernment Committee Report. Intergovernment Committee Report is only available also from the government printer in Sabah. I think we have to address this issue. I think Sarawak should also print this, you know, and probably distribute it to anybody that is interested to read about their rights because these are the two documents that explain to you about your rights all right and of course i'm going to touch a little bit on the uh, federal constitution the federal constitution is where all of this ended up in the federal constitution so these are very important documents and our rights are also included in the federal constitution. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It is in there. I can show it. Every one of them, 96 of them, I can show it to you. It's in here. The problem is that even though it is in the constitution, some people pretend it's not there. So, most of what we should have, actually, was just brushed aside. So, the basic question we want to ask is this. When the Prime Minister take office, when the MP take office, when the Senator take office, they swear that they will uphold and protect the Constitution. So these are the people we should ask this question. Why was our rights in the Constitution overlooked all these years? Now, the reason I'm here today is I'm going to explain to you about your rights. All right? Now, these two books is a bit difficult to read. That's why I wrote this book, to make it easier for everyone to understand. Because the most important thing is for everyone to understand their rights. There is no point having these two documents if it's difficult to read. So I write an uh, easy to understand um, book for everyone to read. All right? 